Welcome to Bay Focus. Thank you for joining me. You are in for a treat today. What a great show we have planned for you. We are going to take you to the recent Living Proof Live um, conference with Beth Moore here in the Tampa Bay Tour Stop and then also a leadership camp for young people. We're going to tell you about that for youth coming up in Boston, Massachusetts and there's a group from Florida going called Born to Soar. What a great camp that's going to be for your young person at home. But we're going to start with the Beth Moore tour stop. She was recently here. Uh, you want to take a look. We're going to take you and we're going to talk to Travis Cottrell, her worship leader. Thousands of women attended Beth Moore's Living Proof Live conference held at the University of South Florida's Sundo Marina. Partnering with Lifeway Christian Resources, author Bible teacher Beth Moore has held these women's conferences across the United States for the last 17 years with over two million lives changed. Beth Moore's numerous books and Bible studies have opened doors of ministry worldwide as well. The Living of Life conferences include powerful praise and worship led by Dove Award recipient Travis Cottrell. I was able to spend some time talking with Travis about his ministry with Beth Moore and his music. Travis, thank you so much for taking time out of what is a very busy schedule this weekend at the Living Proof Live Conference to talk with us. Thank you so much. Great thank to see you Thank you very much. Again. I'm so glad to be in Tampa. We yeah. love the Bay Area. We've been here before. And Excited to be yeah, back this weekend. Yeah, well, yeah, it's this, of course, you, you know, you picked our, our hot time of the year. We've got the temperatures are, are very warm. Well, but, it is a little warm, and yeah. but speaking of it, you know, I think the whole country's thinking about you because when, when we yeah. think of... Yeah. Uh, winter sports and ice hockey, you know, we think yeah. of Tampa. Yeah, you so. really think of Tampa. Well, we really are you? thinking about you right now. It's, it's, we've had For the an first time, series. we're out That's there right. with our That's hockey right. team, the Lightning. It's oh, so we've fun. We've been so proud of them. And yeah, I know. Tampa's really come alive with the whole with the whole uh, hockey thing. I should say so. It's yeah, great. very cool. Um, great. Well, let me give our viewers a little bit of um, background because they um, see you, particularly those that have attended. Beth Moore conferences over the years in the Living Proof Live, seen you leading worship for 17 years now. Right. And, and you have an incredible ministry with her. But you're also a singer, songwriter, arranger, worship pastor now. I want to give your church a plug, right? Am I saying it right? Englewood Baptist? Englewood Baptist Church, church. in Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah, that's, that's it. Right. I'm going to ask you about that in just a few minutes because that was a little shift with your ministry in recent sure years. Was. Mm -hmm. That's a different change. Um, and But your partnership, uh, let's start here with, with, with the Living Proof Live conferences with Beth Moore. How did that happen? How did you guys link up and start this? You know, you say that every time. It's so jarring to me when somebody says that I've been doing something for 17 years. You know how you just don't feel, am I old enough to have been doing You're anything for 17 years? I can't even believe it. I, I'm, I had to have been 12 when we yeah. started. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we started back in 1998, Lifeway Christian Resources. I was working for them in some other regards, leading worship mm -hmm. for some events. And, and Beth came along, they began their partnership and they were looking for a, a worship leader. And the lady who works at Lifeway, she still does, her name's Faith Wat Watley. She called and she said, would you be willing to come lead worship for this women's event? And I thought it to be a little odd, you know, <laughs> like I'm this 20 something year old, you know, dude, you know, yeah, I've I, never led oh, yeah, women's ministry before. Yeah. And I said, I will, I don't, I don't know what you're thinking here, but I'm, I'm willing to, to try. And so we did the first one and the very next Monday, it, it was an amazing event. It was in Dothan, Alabama. We had 3000 women. And the, that Monday morning, uh, Beth faxed into, I wish we still had this fax too, but she faxed into Lifeway, it's a match. And we really just kind of yeah, felt cool. like-minded. Cool. Our, our spirits were kind of united in terms of ministry. And 
Uh, so it was it was pretty fun from the very beginning. Yeah, and you and you all have, and, and it's a very good thing to point out too. I want to give a plug to Lifeway uh, Christian Resources because they publish a lot of her material, and right. um, they've been terrific to work with too for us in setting up, to getting this interview with you. Uh, but yeah, it's a partnership all, all around. There's a number number of groups involved, and in, you know, in, in putting this on. So when you're doing the conferences and you to stay doing it for 17 years with a with a room full of worshiping women i mean all these women what do you what do you get out of that what do you feel is accomplished are you seeing are, are they are you seeing the worship just just really a, accomplish something that keeps you coming back year we after year we do i you know I, looking back over the whole 17 year span i really see how god has we you know you could even think about in our own christian walks in our own churches how the way we worship and how we kind of express what God's doing in, in this generation with worship has changed just in 17 years' time. Yeah. And I look back and see that same reflection, but I think the thing that keeps us coming back is just the power of God and His mm -hmm. Word. That's and good. if I could say this about Beth, I could say a million good things about her, and one of them being in those 17 years, she's never come back with the same word. Like in all of the teachings that she's done, she's never repeated, ever. There's always a fresh word, and it's because God is, you know, uh, always working in us. He is always teaching us. We never stop learning. We never stop seeking, and uh, He never stops uh, revealing. And so from the very beginning till now, I can honestly say what keeps us going is just the sizzle of the, act, you know, the living, active Word of God and the faithfulness of our teacher who, who is faithful yeah, to stay powerful. in that Word. So, yeah. the, you know, the, the kind of... The, the verse that is her life verse is that verse. The Word of God is living and active, mm -hmm. uh, sharper than any two-edged sword. And so we have found that to be true. That's our testimony, and that's what we've seen God do, be alive and active. And just I keep coming to that word sizzle, just sizzling in women's lives and, and bringing them new places of freedom. So you just... You want to come back every year to be under that power of God. You oh, feel yes. that so strongly for you, even oh, as a yes. worship leader. Oh, yes. I mean, leader. I love to serve yeah. as a worship leader, but I'm also receiving. If I could be so self-indulgent, you know, I come to just to be in the Word and to worship for, for myself. Mm -hmm. And so... Yeah, that's um, the best part about worship leading yes. is you yourself get to, get to experience it. That's right. Um, okay, so um, the one thing, too, that I, I wanted just a little side note, too, that... Uh, some of our CTN viewers, our viewers at Christian Television Network, get to see Beth Moore every week on James Robeson's right, life program. Right, Life Today, yes. And, yeah, and Life Today. And I, that's one thing I love to do um, sometimes even in my lunch hour, just, you know, turn her on. So our CTN viewers are, appreciate her as well. Um, but, okay, let's talk about the music. Your style of music, you... What do you do? Do you try to hit everybody? Because we, I, have, your music is so powerful. You have the what I call the big production numbers. You know, <laughs> I mean, you have like the big finish. I mean, you have some. I mean, Jesus Saves doesn't get any bigger than that. I mean, <laughs> you're on your feet at the end of your song, Jesus Fa Saves, in Christ Alone. Some of the ones that you're known for, and um, then some of the ones you've done through through the conference. Um, you've actually done a living your your project. I believe it's called Living Proof. I'm right, living, I'm proof. living Proof. Yes. yes. Um, and you do the accompanying books too with the, right. the choral books and things with the arrangements what do you try to accomplish with it where are you going stylistically how do you reach everybody well there's a there are a couple of couple of few levels to that the first thing i think of is that especially in a conference setting you know we have we have six hours with these ladies and these and, and a few brave men i might say yeah. but mainly ladies but we we have just a few hours and my job is to help them to connect to the lord my job is not to teach them as many new songs as I can. My job is not to jump through any kind of hoops to try to impress them. My job, quite simply, is to help them connect to God and worship. And so in my, from my standpoint as a worship leader, my main objective is to cast as wide a net as I can because we have every denomination, every conceivable Christian denomination sitting out there, every conceivable expectation of worship, uh, experience, and while you can't fall into the trap of just trying to just please everybody, you certainly want to cast as, in a conference setting, cast as wide of a net as you can. And so that's, that's our goal is really to do that, to keep it, uh, to keep an approachable uh, atmosphere of worship for any person, no matter what denomination. And singable. And singable they can as sing well. Along. And then, yeah. and then to the to the end that you speak about the songbooks and the CDs, I, it is I, you know I, I feel like 
any songwriter or worship leader, there is an element of our gifting that is that of equipper. And so I find so much joy. You know, we spoke about uh, uh, your worship pastor, who I love so much, mm -hmm. Greg. And I just count it a great honor to be able to uh, give resources and put them in hands of worship leaders yeah. like your Greg and, and others and say, you know, if you can use this, if this will uh, equip you to help lead your people, it's my joy to help do that. I really yeah. love to do that. That's that's huge that you're passing it on. That's gonna that's going to even outlive you when you think about leaving fruit that remains. Right. Leaving something, you know, that people can use. It's not just driven for for you, the music. You I know, certainly that, have, that is yeah. that's very cool. Okay, you also do something. Um, you also do something as part of your your ministry and and separately. You're involved with Compassion International, helping children around the world. Tell us about that. Well, I've been partnering with Compassion for, I don't know, it may be almost a decade, just, just in my own ministry, uh, because I believe in what they do. You know, their, their tagline, uh, if you're not familiar with Compassion International, I know you are, but uh, is releasing children from poverty in Jesus' name. And um, so my family, since, since we began, my wife and I began having kids, we have three kids. My oldest is now 18, and so we've been doing this for almost 18 years, uh, sponsoring a child sponsoring a few children and just giving a monthly a monthly gift to Compassion. And with that monthly gift, um, that child gets all the education it needs, all the, the, the food that he or she needs. Um, it gets the medical, he or she gets the medical attention that they need. But the thing that sets Compassion International apart is that it's all done through the local church there in their village or wherever they live. So on all those steps of, of their needs being met, they, they get Jesus. Yeah. And they're hearing the word of God, and they're they're seeing the the love of God, and He's getting the credit for the goodness that they're getting there. And so, we love that. And in the past couple of years, we've been partnering with Compassion International, not just me as an artist, but Lifeway Christian Resources and Living Proof Live. And so oh, okay. proud to say that in these in these couple of years, we we've uh, seen over four thousand children sponsored wow. through this partnership. So we love that, and we're grateful to you know have a small part in that. Well, what's great about Compassion International too is they follow the children through. They don't. It's not a one thing, particularly being connected with right. the, the churches. Right, and I, we've but, got we've yeah. got to watch our kids grow, grow up. up. We've got to see them grow up. Right, yeah. right. It's so much fun. That's yeah. what's a little different about them. I mean, they really yes. take each each child through. Okay, and we have just a few minutes left, and I'm going to hit you a couple different things. Um, to start with, I just. Just quickly tell us, because I, I, when I read this material on you, you said you have worked with people way cooler than you. Yes, <laughs> and who isn't really, though? <laughs> I loved it when I read that on your, on your website. I've worked with some great people way cooler than me. <laughs> but, you've, but you've had some great partnerships with people, too, right over the years. Other artists, other ministries. Yes, Not, not yes. only Beth Moore and Living Proof Live, but you've worked right. with some great um, and well, in, in my years in Nashville, before we moved to Jackson five years ago, I spent 20 years living in Nashville. And part of what I did, even before my kind of traveling ministry had launched, is I was a, a studio singer. Mm -hmm. And so I would get to sing background. And, you know, I would show up to work to sing on recordings, and I wouldn't know who it would be or what we would be singing. But sometimes, you know, some really exciting yep. people that I looked up to and admired would, would show up and we'd be singing a song on their Christmas record or yeah. or their recording or, or whatever. So that, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Names. Yeah, you've had great names. a lot of fun. I, I saw you worked with Amy Grant was one of them, right? Different yes, and like she's that, like, so. you know, that's like... That's like, yeah, yes, the gold that, standard. Yes, there you, there you go. As a child yeah. of the 80s and, yes. and Christian music and loving yes. Christian music from yeah. the very beginning, oh, you know. very cool. You that, can't yeah, get, she's a wonderful lady. You can't get much cooler than Amy. Okay, you mentioned your children. You mentioned your children. Are any of them following in your footsteps, music oriented? I, they all are musical yeah. and um, we'll see. I, I, I see it in all of them. I don't know exactly what the Lord will do and I kind of, I try to guide them as well as I can without just like sh shoving them one way yeah. or the other. But I, I think I think there's a worship leader or two in there and then my son, my oldest, who's going to college next year, is majoring in biblical studies. I think mm -hmm. he's going to be some kind of teacher, probably. Yeah, so. although that's, that's wonderful when your children, our children are just following in their steps for the Lord. And please tell me about Boone, North Carolina. Oh, I understand on. you could talk for hours. You ask all the good things. Boone, the good things. North Carolina. Yes, I was born and raised yes. in Boone. It's up in the top northwest what corner of North place. Carolina. Amazing place. And my parents uh, are from there, and their parents, and their parents, and so 
um, yes, our roots run deep in Boone. And actually, yeah. my, my parents were older when I came along. They were 45 and 40 mm -hmm. when I was born. So my dad, you know, is now, and he's, he's 90. And um, so he, he for, to say that his parents are from there and his parents' parents are from yeah. there, that, that's a long time. But I'm, I'm very Boone proud and Appalachian State I love University. That Boone proud. That's I am good. Boone proud. It's amazing. A lot of people go on vacations there in the fall. Yes, we, we, have, we have cursed the traffic, you know, of those visitors. Yeah, so someday <laughs> you will return to Boone, I'm sure. Right, right, yes, right. Yeah. Well, Travis, thank you so much for talking with us thank today. You. God I'm, bless you and your endeavors with Beth Moore. And, thank you very And it's much. been some years. Years ago, you were on Bay Focus and to see how God has continued to to lead you and we have been able to have you back and still blessing your ministry and you're still making music. Um, that's awesome. And I assume it's just what you want to do in the years to come. It is. It really is. And I, I love to come to this area. You have a beautiful area. Thank you. Beautiful people, gracious people of God. And so it yes. is always our joy to be here. Thank you so much, Travis. God bless you. Beth Moore and Travis Cottrell plan to continue partnering in ministry at the Living Proof Live conferences, where their desire is to see more lives changed through worship and the Word of God. Well, I hope you felt the presence of the Lord like I did. That, that song in Christ Alone that we just heard a little portion of from the Living Proof Life Conference. Wow, just powerful, powerful conference. We were so pleased to be there. Thanks to Travis Cottrell, Beth Moore, and the whole Lifeway team for letting us be a little part of it and bring it to you today. Well, we have another ministry, another exciting thing going on this summer uh, that we want to share with you that you can get involved with, and it's called the Born to Soar Camp. I love that name. It's the Born to Soar Camp Summer Leadership Program. And we have the co-founder of this camp with us, Joy Green, with us today. Joy, welcome back. It's been a while since we've had you on Bay Focus, but you wear a lot of hats. We've had you on for the National Day of Prayer. Yes. And you've done a lot of different things. But And to give our, our viewers a little background, you're also um, founder of Rise to the Top Tutoring, Dare to Dream Summer Programs for Foster Children. Uh, you involved with Women's Aglow, uh, National Day of Prayer, but you have a real heart for youth mentoring. And tell us, this is a very different camp. Tell us, what is the Born to Soar camp? A little bit about where it's located, details. So Born to Soar camp is an amazing leadership camp that really was born out of the heart of God. And I think we're in a season of history where it's time for our kids to rise to the top and take those places of leadership that God has called them to. And it's a now time. It's not in 10 years. We don't have time. The times are accelerated. We can just look around us and see that um, when we uh, see our kids, they need to know that they have a destiny, a purpose for their lives, and we have to pour into them to get them to that point to realize it. So Born to Soar Camp really is an entity that com um, combines many components where they um, find out who they are in Christ, get their relationship with God affirmed, you know, b get back to that basic foundation. But then what is it for? When they're in their school, when they're in their college, when they're, when they're in the workplace, do they put that hat on the shelf and just use it on Sunday morning? No, we want them to know that they are the world changers. They're the social change agents that God has called to change the environment, to change the government, to change the marketplace. They go in with principles of character and, and leadership and, and teamwork and, and things that, that they can learn as a Christian that they can apply to their everyday lives. Well, all right, and I, I want to ask you a little bit about that. Before we do, let's let's tell our viewers, uh, and let's show a picture on the screen. This 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 is really located just outside of Boston, yes, Massachusetts, on Endicott College, 
campus and the, it is gorgeous that shows you a little bit of a picture but it, that that's one angle of the of the college but it's just a beautiful location not to mention Boston area everything everything and they're going to so yes. the kids get to do some of those they things do too, around. so it's a very um fast moving interactive camp that location is a wonderful location because we'll be conducting um, entrepreneurial workshops every day that's one of the components that is unique is we want these kids to come up with that creative idea of starting a business and it's something they can go back to their school and apply mm -hmm. not for when they're 20 years from now right. because they are, are are you know this is where the world is going this is where God wants the church to be is we are the ones that are to fund this the kingdom of God mm -hmm. and so we have a great entrepreneurial camps right on campus mm -hmm. they're going to be working and as teams coming up with the business they're going to hear leadership uh, how to be a leader leadership skills hear from great leaders they're going to learn about college and career how can they enter into college what do they need to do to prepare what is their gift what is their strong uh, strong areas of their life that they need to work on and develop so all of that many of those uh, things will take place at the campus but then we're going off campus they're visiting MIT they're visiting Harvard they're going to an innovation center where they can see startups which is which entrepreneurial uh, projects are which real startups that are real businesses that they can actually do uh, and be a part of one day and they're going to actually present their project to a, a, a board and uh, we'll give feedback to them on how they can, is this a viable thing that they can do and how can we help them to improve? So it's amazing all the components. And yeah. of course we always have the fun stuff too, Six yeah. Flags theme park and uh, the Skywalk uh, Observatory and all the different things that kids love to do, games and activities and as then, well. And then do they have a time too of, of when you're when you're trying to, to connect these kids um, spiritually too Absolutely. with the Lord and have yes. that time as well. Yes, camp is such an important time for that. I remember when my kids came back, they were just on fire. You know, they yeah. go in, oh mom, do I really need to go to this? And they come back different. And so they do connect through uh, student-led worship in the evenings, you know, where they worship the Lord. Mornings, they're journaling, they're, they're hearing from God personally. Yeah. And so they're beginning their day that way. So all of those compon components combined is, is, is different that I have seen. It's totally different. I have not, I've seen a number, and we've promoted a number of different camps mm -hmm. here um, for uh, various years and summer, different things. But the, this is one of the more... Um, I have so many more objectives. There are yes. actual goals and objectives, objectives yes. at this camp. Yes. It's not just a time of, you know, a lot of them, which is good too, is just spiritual renewal. Right. But you actually are trying to get them trained in various yes. areas. Now, is this just, is this one week or how long? Currently, is it, it yeah. is. We believe it will expand. Yeah. Uh, it is only our second year doing this and so we are looking to have numerous camps to offer different times we know we kind of run into sometimes sports camps kids get back to school mm -hmm. with football and, and we're trying to work internationally so we're working with all different schedules of, of breaks as well uh, one of the other components that I didn't mention is is impact venture where they're actually going to go out into the local community they're going to be trained in evangelism in the camp as well and they're going to go make a difference that week and 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 they can even use that as community service which even the schools recognize oh, yes, we yeah. need to give back. So oh, yeah, that's yeah. another great, great component. So right now it is the one week camp, July 26th mm -hmm. through August the 2nd in Boston. They just need to get to that Boston airport. We've got chaperones, we've got yeah. volunteers that will work one-on-one -on -one with them and you know, small group settings. So as long as they get to us, we will get them um, to everywhere yeah, they need to the go. Now the ages, okay, you got, you got a wide, a little bit wide range, eight, 13 to 17, so you're hitting kind of you know middle late school. middle school yes. to high school so that's a targeted age group you're going for it right? is it is and we find that um even that is you know i think wow can those older kids relate you know we we watch the younger kids at times connect and the older kids mentor so uh, sometimes we try and you know combine the small younger groups together but that combination of even that is a giving back yeah you know and one one young boy that was there last year he was kind of the, the one everybody adopted um, as, yeah. as, as, the, as the one they wanted to kind of pour into, and he was really touched by their kindness. Yeah, well, let me tell you, the middle school age kids love hanging out with the high school they kids. Do. I, they do. It's so cool for them. Yeah, it it's is. Just like in the, the younger girls look up to the older girls and vice versa. Yes. So that is a, a terrific combination. All right, in the few moments we have left, how do people register? And the Boston, obviously, 
the location's phenomenal, and it is. Kids, kids would enjoy, young people enjoy just going to Boston. Yes. I mean, that alone is so an appeal. So much to see. But you're wanting to appeal from people who come from all over the country, including here from Florida. Yes. So how do people register? What's the specifics, the cost, that kind of thing? Okay. They can go to borntosoarcamp.com, as we'll, we'll see on the screen, yeah. and they'll be able to uh, register right online. Our co My contact is on there as well. Um, and we have uh, discounts, mm -hmm. we have pastor scholarships that we, as a need, needs-based discounts, and then we have pastors that are recommending students, they will also receive discounts. So we want them to contact us and when they see that uh, initial fee, but we do have scholarships. So we want them to go on this website, borntosoarcamp.com, and find out all the information. Call us personally. Don't be afraid to email and call and ask the questions because we want their kids. It's not too late. They can come individually. They can come as a group. It's well uh, uh, a chaperoned, as I mm -hmm. said, girls will be separated in their quarters from boys. That was a question a parent yeah, yeah, asked. Yeah, that's <laughs> Number one, uh, <laughs> they do things together, but they will have those those yeah. times, of course, of, and, you know, yeah. uh, that we're going to watch that very closely and, and we have and volunteers. They, um, again, they can go online and see all the specific details yes. about it and yes, um, you know, the meal situation, everything. I'm sure yeah. all that's covered. Meals, um, meals, right? Room and board are all, all every, part of the it's price. All inclusive. It is. That's that's terrific. And yes. actually, they'll see online the price because it's. I think it's very affordable. It is. I mean, it's a, it's trip for everything you're accomplished for that week and everything they're going to be seeing and doing. Yes. All right, Joy, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this side of, of what you do. The, the mentoring uh, of youth is so important. Yes. I, I'm, I'm pleased to promote this on Bay Focus. Well, thank, thank you for you. bringing it to our attention. Well, we're, we're excited. Yeah. We're Born expecting. to Soar, what a great name. Yes. Oh, what a great name. I love uh, that. Yes. And stay tuned on the screen. Once again, you're going to see the information, how you can contact Born to Soar Camp, Joy Green. Also, I encourage you to, to go on the website because it tells you also some of the leadership team that Joy works with, and you can see who's all going to be involved. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of Bay Focus as well. The Born to Soar Camp Youth Summer Leadership Program will be held July 26th through August 2nd at Endicott College located outside of Boston, Massachusetts. For more information, please send an email to joygreen77 at verizon.net or visit borntosoarcamp.com to register. You can also connect with Born to Soar Camp on Facebook. Bay Focus puts the spotlight on Tampa Bay. Join host Darlene Greenlee as she takes a look at the people and events reaching our Central Florida communities with the gospel. Plan to watch Bay Focus Wednesday mornings at 11.30 and Thursday nights at 7 right here on your CTN station. Well, I hope you can get involved with the Born to Soar camp. Hope you enjoyed seeing the Living Proof Live conference with Beth Moore. Thank you so much for tuning in this week. We will see you next week on Bay Focus. May God richly, richly bless you.